Good afternoon everyone and welcome to Linda Sue Plants for You. Today it is a absolutely gorgeous sunny day. Snow is melting, spring is on the way. Yay! Um, this is going to be a rather short video. I just want to do a little update for you on a few of my pothos plants. Um, the first one that you're looking at here is my Pearls and Jade, I believe. I get these mixed up with uh, the Enjoy, but this is, I'm pretty sure, the Pearls and Jade. And if you guys remember, not too long ago, I want to say maybe, maybe two months, this was just a handful of leaves, a few leaves, maybe seven or eight, and a stem. And I stuck it in this big pot because I liked the off-white in the leaves with the off-white pot. And if you, were, if you did see that video, you will may or may not remember that I was concerned because the whole pot is filled with soil. And I'm a pretty always have been traditionally I've been a real stickler on not over potting plants in other words not putting you know too small a plant in too big a pot but <clears throat> you know I've tried with a few specimens and had really good luck and I'm not advocating this I don't know if it works with all plants but it did work with this one I took a chance I had a small cutting and I took a chance and look at her now and I honestly, I am amazed. <laughs> I'm absolutely amazed at the growth on this plant. And she's very healthy, as you can see. Um, I hardly ever water her. In fact, I forget to water her. And I've never seen her droop. She's just the easiest plant in the world to take care of. And gives me so much pleasure in return. Amazing. It's just amazing. Okay, and then I've got my little elephant here. I just, I got to make mention of that. That was a birthday gift. One of my birthday gifts from one of my granddaughters. Um, very colorful, ceramic. Pretty. And it, it goes with my stuff. And those of you that know me know that I collect elephants. I love elephants. I love everything about them. I watch the elephant shows on TV. I'm just amazed at their um, the makeup of that that animal. Anyway, <clears throat> moving on. She's kind of droopy. I'm a little embarrassed. Like I said, I forget to water things on this shelf. And this one is my Marble Queen. And she... Um, She's she's growing. She's doing okay. And if I would take better care of her, she'd be doing a lot better. But I I just haven't. And I have no excuse other than my health does prevent me from doing a lot of things. So, you know, I take care of the most expensive and my most favorite first. And that way, if I never get to the rest, I it's not a huge loss. So that's that's how my life is. And that's how this works. But anyways, as you can see, <clears throat> she's doing very well too here. Once she perks up from her lack of water. Okay. And then I have another plant I want to show you all. This is my Manjula. Now, that is really the reason for this video today. Um, I have seen several videos in the last couple of weeks uh, where some other YouTubers were having trouble with their Manjula. And I did comment and to let them know, you know, so I could help in any way I can. I, I get a little leery about commenting when it sounds like advice because I do not want to give advice to other uh, plant people. I... I I feel like I'm being rude if I do that because some people take offense and 
that's the last thing I want to do. But I felt really led to make the comments because I, I don't want them to lose their plant. And my comment was, when I first got this plant, I got it at, uh, it was either Lowe's or Walmart. I paid $14 for it. It was full, but the leaves weren't as big. And they looked much like the Marble Queen, like this leaf. And remember, these leaves were a lot smaller. And it was sold as a Marble Queen. So that's what I thought it was. Well, when I found out it was a Manjula, and now the reason for my bringing this up is it was struggling. I was losing leaves every day. I tried moving it to different places. I tried holding off water. I tried everything, and it just kept declining. So one day, I, my husband brought me home this stand, um, and I stuck it in the corner here on top of my, my vintage Victrola, and I just put her there because I really had nowhere else to put her, and she was declining, and I thought, well, I've done everything I can. I guess if you want to die, you're going to have to do it in the other room. So I stuck her here. This is my dining room in this corner, and it's dark in this corner. I mean, I have a south window over here, but that's pretty far away, and that's not really, you know, reflecting. I've got an east window behind me, so she's getting some light, but it really, you're going to have to just trust me that this is a pretty dark corner overall. And look at her. Just look at her growth. I mean... I'm going to try to get back in here. Look at the size of these leaves. They're... <clears throat> the one in the back is even bigger than this. And they're healthy. And they're... they're I'm getting all kinds of new growth. It's just literally growing like a weed. And the color is phenomenal. And the great part about it is I forget about this plant because of where it is. I water this plant. I try to remember to water it about once a month. Sometimes it goes longer than that. And did I ever have a brown leaf? Yeah, I, I, I have had one or two once in a while. Um from lack of watering, but I have discovered this plant really does not like a lot of attention. It doesn't like bright light, and it doesn't like a lot of water. It, it you can, I, I completely, this plant completely dries out for a long time before I get water in it. So, I just wanted to bring that to you guys and, and let you know that if you are struggling with a manjula, and you have it in a bright light, Maybe try to take it out of there and put it in a darker spot and just see what happens. I mean, if she's dying anyway, what have you got to lose, right? Okay, that's all really that I wanted to tell you about today. <clears throat> I suppose I should mention this guy. He needs water. My uh, philodendron, Hartley philodendron. He's <clears throat> digging into the paint and pulling himself up there and he goes all the way down to the floor <clears throat> beautiful plant but anyway staying on topic here if you don't own one of these and you have an opportunity to buy one if you like variegation this is the plant for you really truly Okay, and I'm going to give you an update on <clears throat> two more, and then we're going to call it a day. Okay, this is my golden pothos, and I don't know if you guys will remember, but I was really struggling with this when I brought it home and, and planted it here. It started to decline, and it too was just every day I was pulling dead leaves off. Well, 
it finally stopped doing that it got acclimated and she's doing great <clears throat> so as soon as I get this whole wall cleaned up because it needs cleaning I'm going to start to train her to go up up and over my um, my bare spot there but <clears throat> the color in her leaves is really pretty and I'm not a big golden pothos fan I think just because they've been around my whole life and they were always a very common plant but I do enjoy them I don't I don't not like them they have their place in my in my spot all right and last <clears throat> but certainly not least is another golden pothos that I have this plant, um, some of you already know, was at one time about 13 feet tall and very full. Um, <clears throat> it got a fungus, and I could not get rid of it. I could not save it no matter what I did. So I ended up cutting it all back, and it was still declining. So last summer, I put it out on the porch, and there was only two little stems left one or two little stems and I think one or two tiny leaves but we left it out there we watered it we nurtured it it grew a little bit but when I brought it back in in the fall it took off like crazy so <clears throat> I repotted it put it in here and I put it under my my Mars Hydro light and that that light has been the best investment I've ever made it really has helped me a lot with my struggling plants it's so bright but anyway so that's that she's 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 doing well she's coming back and maybe someday she'll be 13 feet tall again in the meantime I hope you guys all have a great weekend um, I am going to be filming uh, some doing some repotting videos here shortly <clears throat> and I hope to get one up for later today or tomorrow so watch for that Otherwise, have a great day. Bye now.